Okay. I trained for this moment, all right? I played Sylvanas for 12 and a half hours straight with... What? There's no way! There. Okay, there's no way. There's, this is a rigged duel. There's no way. What? X, the X Gamer. Oh, my God. All right. Well, we have to show him that we're the best Sylvanas out there. I was expecting to fight, like, an Anubis or something. I'll take this any day. No way. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Uh, what? What's good against Sylvanas? Beads? I mean, beads are ages, probably. Bracer, kind of. Shell's okay. Blink? I'm gonna go with ages. I'm not. I'm recording for YouTubes. For the YouTubes people. Alright. Well, whether we're against the Sylvanas or not, we're still gonna show you guys the best Sylvanas tips out there. Place the one behind the wall to get that hot MP5 through the wall and they can't kill the they can't kill it. Where is he? Oh, there he is. And then place another one in tower. And then usually these two will provide you with all the mana you need. No matter where you are. Let's see, he went Hunter's Plus and Boots, so I should outclear him a tiny bit. Except that he had his one up, and I did not. So I have a little bit more damage, so I should win this fight. He also went Blink instead of Aegis. So I should have full outboxing potential. I probably shouldn't have done that. I should have saved it for the wave. Looks like he's trying to focus me instead of the wave. Oh, shoot! They use mages. Rug for rug. Good idea, but it didn't work. Get over here. Oh, dang it. In all my days, I'm, I don't think I've ever seen a Sylvanas Mirror in ranked. I've seen it in customs, but not in ranked. I have no idea. I have no idea how you missed that. I wasn't paying attention. If I'm being quite honest. Also, the nice thing you can do with Sylvanas is right after you left click for a base attack, throw out the one. It's uh, you, Sylvanas' auto attacks don't feel the same as other characters, but you can still do it. Some people want to like want to use an ability like as you, the auto attack hits the ground, but you want to use it like right after it's shot. Is he going to contest me? Yes. <gasps> what? I got knocked up and he didn't? Okay. I call shenanigans. I'm dead. Wow. <laughs> the difference of 0.5 seconds. 0.2 seconds. That is some crazy stuff. This is a mirror match, so uh, now that he got first blood, it's going to be a pain to come back. That really sucks. Mm -hmm. Savant's autos are actually pretty good. They're pretty good for clearing, wave, for taking buffs. They're good for everything. If you guys didn't know, Savance only has one ability that actually hits minions. And that is his one. So everything else is just auto attacks. That's why the Hunter's Blessing into Bancroft's. Bancroft's for the power spike and Hunter's Blessing for the auto damage. Without Hunter's Blessing, it would suck. <laughs> Go auto. Okay, he's already going auto. He finished his boot, so he has a power spike over me right now. As well as for that... Oh, shoot. Please don't pull me. Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. So he's got that... Uh, that red buff <laughs> with uh, pen boots. So he's going to be doing a lot of da more damage to me right now. Until I get my Bancrofts online. So basically, whoever ults first loses the engagement. Even if it's like 0.2 seconds difference, whoever ults first loses the engagement, because then your CC mini will run out. So I'm not gonna ult. Oh shoot! Never mind. I should have ulted. I don't think it would have killed. Is the problem though? 
He got the snowball. No. I'm going to lose a Savant Smear. Imagine playing Savant for 12 and a half hours straight and then losing a Savant Smear. Couldn't be me. All right, I got Bancrofts. I do think I know how to build Savannah's better, though, so maybe we can do it. I'm tempted to skip boots, but it's like we can't. I should probably go shoes with Mage Eye since he did too, or I could go uh, cooldown boots and try and get an edge via cooldown, but I know that auto attack's better. Yeah, I should probably go uh, the same thing. What? Okay. How's he so fast? Come on. There! Finally got a kill! Okay! It's not over! In a snowball, you have to get at least one return kill, otherwise it's over. I, yeah, mirror matches. Mirror matches are crazy. I've had, I've had a Sylvanas mirror match before, but never against the... Uh, Never, never in rank duel, only in customs, like I said earlier. Okay, we need to get this, uh, this demonic grip of rolling. I was really expecting to fight Anubis, which is a very difficult matchup. I w I've wanted that matchup before, like you guys saw in the other day's video, but it's pretty rare to happen. I don't want to get pulled into tower. Let's go back to our mana flower because we're kind of low. The only reason we can stay is because we have Bancrofts. Gives a nice power spike. He's going shamans. That's not auto attack. It'll help him, but um, it's not like a core item on Sylvanas. You want uh, on Sylvanas, Demonic Grip plus Spear of the Mages is like the go-to almost every time because Demonic Grip applies first and then Spear of the Mages. So you shred your opponent's protection by 36%, and then a 50 flat after that. And almost no matter how, how much defense they have, that's like all their health. I don't know if we can stay too much longer, though. I'm gonna have to stay in these flowers. Rarely do I ever use the flowers, but here it actually matters. Okay, he's about to get evolved on turns plus him before me, which would be very bad. I uh, was tempted to ult, but the thing is that I was almost out of mana. Alright, I'm actually getting up my Huckus Blessing before him. Nice. What a genius you are. <laughs> oh my god. Bancroft's on almost every Guardian. The only Guardian I used to not build Bancroft's is Athena, and even now I build Bancroft's on her. I need to upload full gameplays of all my Guardians again. Oh, guys, I'm thinking about starting a new series, okay? And this is... Oh, hold on. Hold up! I'm dead. I'm so dead. I might not die. No, I'm dead. Dang it! How dare I get distracted by distracted by talking to my YouTube people. Um, I'm just going to start a new series to basically encourage me to keep uploading. If you guys don't know uh, Define Prize's channel, go ahead and check it out. I'm going to put it in the description. He's my brother, and he came up with a series for a smite. Um, it's called the Iron Man and how it works is you start off on one Guardian whether it's the first one or the last one um, alphabetically and If you win you go to the next one if you lose you go down a Guardian So basically I would have to keep playing Guardians until I win with each and every one um, Each and every one and so like I'll, I'll win with uh, I don't know them in order <laughs> the guardians in order So let's just pretend I'm at Geb, right? So I win with Geb. I go on to the next one if I lose with the next god I go back to Geb and if I lose to Geb I go one more back down I think you're supposed to start with the middle guardian But I would just start at the far left one and just if I lose with that one, you know I just retry with it since there's nowhere to go and That way I have consistent uploads and a lot of variety of guardians and the hardest guardians I would actually have the most videos on, um, since those are the hardest ones to win with. The only thing that I worry about that is I would upload the video no matter what. So if I get O and if I go O and eight, if I get destroyed, you know, 
I have to upload it. Oh, am I dead? Or is he dead? <laughs> what did I say? Whoever... It, I think he had more damage there. Like, he had his Bancrofts online and his Shaman's Ring. Um, but since he ulted first, he got knocked up. And I won the engagement. I was able to get a lot more damage onto him. That is a weird thing of this matchup. Interesting. But yeah, tell me if you guys are interested in that. Um, I think I'll start uploading it tomorrow. And because I know every time I'm like, let's upload more to YouTube, and then I don't. And it makes me feel horrible. And I think that would be the proper solution to it. That way I'm uploading uh, videos as often as I can. And then once I finish it, I could either move on to another class. But the thing is, I think people are mainly here for Guardians. I can always upload full gameplays of other guard gods whenever I want. Or something like that, you know? I think it's a good idea. Just to keep these full gameplays of rolling. There's a lot of times I find myself recording a lot of games for YouTube, and most of them don't even make it to YouTube because they're just stops in a not non-entertaining way. But it's like, if I lose with a god, then it's not so bad because I'll come back to that god. So, we'll, I'll be guaranteed to get a full good gameplay for that one. <gasps> what? That didn't hit him? How did my one not hit him? He would have died. Look at his health. He would have died. He would have 1,000% died. I wasn't paying attention to my cooldowns. I got stuck in tower. Alright, we need to pay attention. Enough talk about the Iron Man. Actually, one more thing about the Iron Man. Uh, Define Pride, he has a video on his channel. Where he did it against one of his friends. And they both were doing the Iron Man. But this would be just be... Uh, that's how you usually do it. It's a, it's a thing from Smash. And and you're supposed to do it against a friend. But we can make it work for Rank Duel. I'll just have to figure out how to put it into words for the description. Also, one more thing. I've never gotten a sponsorship for my YouTube channel, right? And that's because I'm pretty picky with my sponsorships. And I think I finally found one that actually seems quality. So I hope you guys aren't annoyed by that. It'll just be a short little intro for videos and a little thing in the description. And it'll really help me out. It's not going to be for this video. But in f future videos, you guys might, might see something. I don't want to say too much now because it's a little bit early. Oh, buff stolen. Buff secured. He does have red buff, though, so I don't think we should fight. Never mind, we're fighting him. He missed his ability. Are you serious? I kind of wish I missed that since I'm taking so much damage. I'm dead. Oh, maybe not. Now he's dead. I have void stone. Are you serious? If I kept if I kept attacking him instead of trying to run away, I would have killed him. So Vahanas Auto is two thousand. Oh man, I do think I'll have the better build, but fighting into a snowballed Sylvanas and he got Sunder too. I missed my ultimate. Like, how bad do I have to be to miss my ultimate? This is my first game of the day too. Usually I get a couple of games in before. Uh, Recording a game for YouTube. It's just this is atmosphere. Have has that ever happened? Not in ranked. Yeah, and the entire twelve hours I streamed Sylvanas, not a single person sniped me to Sylvanas for me. Now oh, you got Telekine shoot. He doesn't have defense though, which might make my demonic grip seem stupid. So I might actually go straight into Telekines and then. Uh, and then go Spear of the Mages, since he doesn't have defense. Because Demonic Grip's not going to help that much if he has no defense. I was just assuming he was going to get defense. Alright. Oh, shoot the blink. Sato's hit pretty hard because that shaman's ring. I'm just trying to make just oh shoot. 
Well, I guess if I all at lower health, I get more damage because of bank roughs. So maybe it was a good thing my ult didn't go off right there. Right there and then. Seems to be a mixture of multiple things. Do I ult right away with full health to just to knock him up and get the CC immunity? Or do I wait to be at low health so my ult actually does a ton of damage and kills him? Because I get more damage the second way, but, the, but then I get CC'd, which, you know, I'm losing damage from my auto attacks. Interesting. This matchup's a lot more interesting than I thought it would be. Seems to be a lot of mind games. All right, let me back and get Telekines. Like I said, I would usually get Demonic Spear, but since he has no defense, Demonic doesn't really serve a purpose. Oh, my lord. Okay, we got a Sunder. Sunder is pretty scary here, especially since he has uh, Shaman's Ring too. That's 30% increased damage. And Savannah's can execute, so... Yeah. Oh, now he's getting defense. Never mind. Good thing we didn't get that Telekines. If he didn't stop our... If he did not stop our back there, we would have went into a bad build. Okay, so now we get our spear. He is getting defense. Got it. The Aegis will be good against the Sunder. Just Aegising all of his damage. Not all of it, since it's tick damage, but still. Not to let him take those. We're going to win this because we're using the Bob Ruskin. That's why. Also, those those that don't know, you can shoot Sylvanas Autos over walls uh, by shooting at the ground and then flicking the camera over. I've stolen buffs like that. It's a very small thing, but it helps. I'm not going to blink on you. <laughs> Look how much more damage we're doing now that we have uh, Demonic. Oh shoot, I didn't even need to. Nice! And we have a full minion wave. Very good engagement. Very good engagement. One nice thing to do also is just use your ultimate immediately after using your one because their protections are shredded. Uh, Savant's one shreds protections. How much is it? Uh, 25? It's pretty nice. That is pretty nice. And of course, that applies after Demonic Grip as well. The order of penetration is per percent reduction, flat reduction, percent pen, flat pen. So percent reduction is Demonic Grip. Flat reduction is Spear of the Mages or the way my one shreds. Flat pen is just the stat. Oh, wait, no, no, I'm sorry, not flat pen. Percent pen is like Obsidian, and flat pen is... Just the stat. I'm dead, but that's okay. I got his phoenix. I got his phoenix. It's all good. All good. He got pestilence. Interesting. Uh, toxic blade would be a great last item, I think. Ooh, can I afford it, though? Uh, by the time I respawn, I'll probably be able to afford it. Maybe. <laughs> if, I, if it's less than 100 gold, it's worth waiting for a finished item that's the way i've always done it if it's a finished item that can really change the fights it's worth it an anti-heal very much so red buff would be nice but i think he took it not entirely sure hello what painting you you painting bob ross it's a very nice painting what's the chances of a cabin in this one if you all are ever having a down a bad day watch bob ross seriously some of my worst days Bob Ross has gotten me through. Oh, he took Bull Demon. Really? <laughs> well, I mean, I guess I get Red Buff. I don't, I'm not worried about my Phoenix getting taken, though, right now. He is a level ahead of me. Rarely do you see a god a level behind winning. That's pretty nice. So now that we have Demonic Spear, I want you guys to see how much we shred him. Because our two and then our autos... But I have to apply my abilities, though, is the thing. Alright, watch this. Oh, no. I missed! Oh, no, I missed! No! And I also got knocked up. Dang it. I lied to you guys. I didn't shred him. <laughs> I lied to you guys. Oh, no. There's uh, this beer. I need to upgrade my, uh, my Aegis, actually, because if we don't have the Aegis every time he ults, He's going to do a lot of damage. Uh, my Phoenix actually might get taken now. That would be really unfortunate. Oh, 
I'm doing almost true damage, which is nice. Like, my ultimate did more than damage than his ultimate. But, you know, it doesn't really matter if I'm if I'm dead. You have that Aegis ready. I even had red buff there. That's the scary part. How much power does he have? He has 431 power. Okay. Also, completely forgot to mention, I did decide to go the the cooldown boots. Should have probably mentioned that. I need to get better at saying things out of my head. Just to try to get an edge with my ultimate. Because right now, I'm going to get my ultimate a little bit faster than he is. Oh no. Watch, hang on. What? He's not dead? How did he not die to that? What? How did he actually not die to that? He had... How much health did he have? How did he not die? My ultimate should have killed him. Are you kidding me? More importantly, how did he get his ultimate when I have more cooldown than him? Did he have blue buff? Does he have blue buff on him? He might have... No? Maybe when he ulted last, he had blue buff? I don't know. Either way, I should have had more, more cooldown than him. He shouldn't be able to kill me there. No. Are you kidding me? Oh, well, that sucks. Either way, I'm going to upload this. I don't really care. Mirror matches aren't... Mirror matches are just, you know... Mirror matches. Man, I screwed up bad. I can't believe that didn't kill him. Oh, well. GG. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm, I need to get some more videos on YouTube, whether it's a good game or not. Have a good one.